bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, thank you for joining us. Anyone who lives in the city or grew up in the city like I did know that parks are an extremely part of your experience. Uh, Meredith Thomas is with us right now. He, she is the new executive director of San Francisco Neighborhood Park Council. Congratulations, Meredith. Thanks, Jack. That's really, do you have to twist anybody's arm? Or is it, <laughs> I know where the trees are, or I plant seeds, or what? I mean, what, it, what are we doing? Yeah. yeah, I think that the San Francisco community has heard loud and clear from our organization over the last 14 years about the importance of neighborhood parks. And so now, for me, it's a question of sustaining the excitement that neighborhood people have about their park and working with the city closely to make sure it's the best yeah. are you get, system. Are you getting the neighborhood people involved? Absolutely. I mean, this is the way you have to do it. You yeah. Can't, can't yeah. all be professional gardeners or something. No, I mean, we need people to care about their public open spaces. We need yeah. people to care about what's happening across the street from them. And, you know, especially now, a lot of people are looking for opportunities to do things that don't cost them any money. Exactly. And so neighborhoods become even more important. You know, a day where you would have gone out of the city and spent a lot of money elsewhere, maybe you're getting a cup of coffee and going to your park. Yeah, and Comcast is like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Building a park out in the back, right? Yeah, here, right? right, good. Yeah. Well, we can do a work day. Have you been successful? We have. In, in terms of, you know, what the council has accomplished and where you want to go. I mean, what kind of goals do you have now, for example? Yeah, that's a great question. I think when our organization started, it was founded by a woman named Isabel Wade with about three park groups, a kind of loose coalition. We've grown it to over 120 park groups around the city. There's over 200. That's a lot. Over 200 parks, though, in our, in our yeah. city, and people care about each and every one of them. And so then the question becomes with, with changing times, with changing economic realities, and with changing needs, people want different things from their park than they did, say, 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. How do we as an organization support that, support what the neighborhood needs? Really focused on making sure that playgrounds are safe and well-maintained within walking distance of every child in San Francisco. And also, as the density in our city increases, you know, the eastern side of the city is going to see incredible growth over the next 10 years. Making sure that parks and open space are vitally linked in to those new communities and so I see a roadmap for MPC for a long time into the future in that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. Well you mentioned the eastern part of the city the best weather. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. a great place to have parks and so forth. Sure. But let's separate the difference between Golden Gate Park and the parks that you deal with sure. so people understand that. Okay. There is a difference. In that Golden Gate Park is more of a, almost a regional park. It, it draws people from all over. Uh, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right. one of the most popular tourist destinations in our city. There are a few neighborhood parks people like to go to. People like to go to Alamo Square to take the picture of the painted ladies, that right. row of Victorian right. houses. People love Dolores Park. But generally speaking, what we're talking about when we talk about a neighborhood park is the place that you and your neighbors go to spend time, to throw the frisbee, to have a picnic. Um, it's probably where your rec center is, where you take your guitar class or your yoga. Yeah. And so these are places that need neighbors to look out for them. Golden Gate yeah. Park needs a lot of its own resources, and it is well-loved by everyone in the world. Not so many people know about the Fillmore Turk Mini Park. You know? yeah. yeah, okay, so if you're living out in 36 and Quintera uh -huh. or someplace, sure. you want to know that someone out in the sunset, there's got to be a park out there for the kids who live out there right. and find the space for that. That's right. I mean, San Francisco, it's seven square miles, right. you know, and to have that many parks yeah. is, is kind of an amazing thing right there. It is, and you we're know. very lucky. We have a lot of open space in San Francisco. Uh -huh. Our challenges tend to be keeping it well-maintained and making sure it's accessible. Topography is not insignificant in San Francisco, so maybe you live a block from a park, but you're not in the sunset and you're at the bottom of the hill and you have a kid in a stroller. You know, we need to serve you too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are people volunteering? I mean, you get people to volunteer to work in the plant and do things like with trees and Absolutely. Because I mean, there's been a lot of trees planted in the city recently. Sure, so. sure. Yeah, so the first part is actually doing the, the investment in revitalizing a park or planting trees and doing all of that beauty stuff. And then the second piece right. is coming back and cleaning it up well, when it's all been that there. All that beauty stuff. The, beautiful, <laughs> That's the beautification of our parks. But people yeah. participate in monthly work days. Yeah. They participate in drop-in opportunities, all of which are on we our website. So. Well, Meredith, nice to see you again. Thanks, John. Okay, Meredith Thomas has been our guest. She's executive director of the San Francisco Neighborhood Park Council. They're doing one heck of a nice job. Thanks for watching. Thanks, John.